the story is very much about an Indian American kid who is completely absorbed in American culture, which for me was beamed to me through the TV. That plays opposite to the little boy's father who's absolutely worshiping his deities, which are from Hinduism. It's an immigrant family. The father is still hanging on to his culture. The boy is adopting this culture where he's arrived, America. And the story is very much this conversation about how they clash and kind of how they can suddenly see things from each other's point of view. Those photos are of my dad, and uh, twice a day my dad does a puja. A puja, for, if people don't know, is a flower ceremony. Every morning what he would do is he would get food, flowers, water, and light, and incense, and he would offer all these things to the gods. The th most sacred thing in his mind was these deities that he felt like were always living with us in our family. I never saw them as that, but for him, it w they were alive. It was all so esoteric to me, but it was exactly what I would do in the morning. I would get my breakfast together, then I would watch a cartoon, but I would turn on a light, I would bathe myself. It would be all the steps that I would do, but he would do it for the gods. Once I started reading about my parents' gods and demons, it really reminded me a lot of the superheroes. I think my truth was always like, I really like superheroes, they seem cool. And, you know, I didn't know it then, but a little version of me was like very much escaping and like kind of visualizing my power or, or I could just admire these superheroes and it just seemed like a really nice way to at least introduce this comparison between my father's world and my world. It's very alive for him, it's very important to him, and it, was, it feels really meaningful for me to want to tell that part of his story and how it's touched me and how it's affected me in a way that I could, I don't know, share it with people that don't have the privilege of seeing what my dad does every day.